Not Ada Lovelace, daughter of Lord Byron and Annabella Milbank, one of the great minds. Ada Lovelace was born in London, England on December 10, 1815. From the age of four, Lovelace was tutored in mathematics and science as her mother wanted her to not follow in her father's footsteps as a romantic poet. She married William King in 1835 and became the Countess of Lovelace. This led to her famous nickname, the Countess of Computing. Lovelace went on to study advanced mathematics with the University of London professor, August D. Morgan. Charles Babbage became Ada's mentor and together they worked on developing the world's first computer in 1834. It will count and perform quadratic equations. Babbage asked her to translate a paper written by Luigi Minabrea and wrote in her own analysis which contained the world's first computer algorithm. She also designed a model that would use math to decode the neurological process called a calculus of the nervous system. They also simply question her intellectual ability. Even though there is all of this evidence from Babbage talking about how amazing she is, there was actually a female mathematician who preceded her, who knew her, and, was, and said, essentially, I've never met anyone of this age that was this gifted. If she, you know, if she went to Cambridge, you know, if she were a man, I would say she could become one of the first-rate mathematical minds out there. Um, we, we have documentation of that and nonetheless they say she couldn't have had the intellectual capability to do it. Even though her accomplishments went by years unnoticed, she is now a celebrated figure who has made several appearances in big television such as Doctor Who and Victoria. Don't have a TARDIS! <laughs> do have an Ada! machine can carry out these calculations. Oh yes, sir. It's much faster than the human brain. Lady Lovelace, will you show the prince? So, if you wanted to calculate prime numbers, you set up the cogs here, and the machine... will produce the calculation. That's all. It's beautiful. There's poetry in it, I think. The music of the spheres. I must apologize for my lateness. I was at the Royal Society. I went to view Charles Babbage's engine oh, designs. I'm delighted you went, sir. It's a fascinating experiment, is it not? Indeed. You know, when Lady Lovelace explained to me that they can use this machine to do the most complicated calculations, I have to admit I could hardly believe that a human had designed A this. female mathematician? Only one, ma'am, at the Royal Society, but Lady Lovelace is an exceptional woman. The model that they are building, it has so much potential. Yeah, if Babbage's claims are true, then one day computing machines will be able to do the work of men. We should do everything that we can to advance that work. It's so important for the future of this country. She has become an inspiration to young girls everywhere, and many children's books have been written, highlighting her technological advances. However, there is still a lack of women in technology in England and throughout the rest of the world. I'd also noticed something else working in the tech world, that I was in the minority. There was a lack of other women in tech. And this is the UK's story. Each year, it is slated that 100,000 new jobs will be created in technology. And in the UK, we don't have enough skilled workers to fill them. Yet, of all the people working in technology currently, only 14% are women. Her biggest legacy is her impact on the women in STEM. Many competitions and scholarships have been made in the STEM field in honor of Ada Lovelace.